few athletes have ever had as much pressure on them as Kim Yoo Na of South Korea has on her in the figure skating competition. Her whole nation expects her to come home with the first gold medal in figure skating that South Korea has ever won. She's off to a terrific start. She set a world best with 78.50 points in a short program that shows she's as good as any Bond girl. Skating to a James Bond theme, Kim Yoo Na hit every one of her elements, but it wasn't the jump so much as the theatricality of her performance. And it wowed the audience, and it certainly wowed the judges. She has a four-and-a-half-point lead, which is uh, humongous in figure skating. In second place is Mao Asada of Japan, her main rival. But Mao is going to have to have an incredible skate in the free program to beat Kim Yoo Na. The two Americans are actually in position where they could get a bronze medal. Uh, U.S. champion Rachel Flatt is fifth, and Mariah Nagasu is sixth, even though she had a bloody nose in the middle of her performance, and it did bother her. Uh, Flat came on late in the uh, proceedings and skated quite well. She was on the ice after Kim Yuna and Mao Asada had put out their phenomenal performances, and she was clean. She was uh, quite theatrical in her performance, and uh, she looked very confident out there, and there's no reason to think that she won't hit all of her elements in the long program. She's very good at the jumps. So she has a pretty good chance, perhaps, to sneak into that bronze medal position. The most heart-wrenching of all the performances was by Joanne Rochette of Canada. Her mom died two days ago, yet she's been at every practice session, and she was out on the ice tonight in the short program and wound up in third place, and it was a well-deserved third place. There was no charity here. And it was quite an intense and quite an emotional routine for Joanne Rochette.